Yeah, and another thing which I I mentioned previously about school, um, and I gave an example of a case where I was actually there was actually a delay in me being able to produce a piece of work, um, and another example came to my mind, which is that every week we had a we had a class where we we used to go and watch uh, a video about I think it was about Victorian life in England. And um, then we were expected to write, expected to write something for the next week. And consistently, I never managed to do that. I think I did once. Um, but what I would do is I would produce something else instead. You know, so I spent a lot of time on doing something else instead, and you know, making it look nice. And and the teacher always showed disdain with this um, because all of the other kids in the class had actually produced um, the work that that had been required of them. But for me. In actually trying to do that work, it it was it was like I was like blocked from doing it. Um, and years later, I having experienced the same thing, um, but being given enough time, I actually produced the work. You know, so it's a case of I was like this delay, um, which I believe is um, what they call um, global development delay or global delay. So. For example, somebody will say something to me which has an emotional import. Like, for example, perhaps somebody's died or something like that. And um, it will take me a day to actually process that information so I can hear everything they've said, I can remember everything they've said, but it won't hit me for a day. Um, and like, for example, when people pass away, um, I only have like um, a very brief reaction to that. Last, it probably lasts about 30 seconds. So, um, so yeah, de delay. Uh, I I do have a delay in processing information, and sometimes it's quite pronounced as well. Um, but it depends. I, I think it depends on how much it's related to things that I already know, because the things are transferable. You see, so if I can pick, take something from here and take something from there, then the that gap, that time delay is short. But if it's something quite novel, and quite you know, explicit, which happens, you know, just now in my face um sometimes it there will be a delay and the more the more new it is the, the the longer the delay will be um and what seems to happen the way i understand it the way my physiology works is um it goes through everything that i already know and then links this new piece of information to it and I, it's sometimes like i can actually feel it doing it i just have to sit down and watch youtube videos because um it's um it's it's a bit intense uh, so so yeah that's that's a bit about the way that my physiology processes information um there there's a delay basically